Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Anton and welcome back to a brand new Discord tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to host your bot 24-7 without having to leave your computer on all the time. Okay, so I know a lot of brand new uh, bot coders or bot creators, they need, they need a solution, right? How do I have my bot stay online even though I don't want to leave my computer on all the time, right? Well, the answer to that is something called cloud computing. Now, we're going to be using Heroku. There are obviously other solutions. You can use Amazon Web Services. If you're a pro, you can use DigitalOcean. Um, but I'm going to use Heroku because, one, it's free. And obviously, I'm not going to encourage anyone to pay for DigitalOcean um, when this is just kind of like, you know, a beginner tutorial. But if you, but maybe in the future, I'll do a video on DigitalOcean because it is a really nice service. But we're gonna use, we're gonna use Heroku. You're gonna also want to make sure you know Git. Okay, if you guys don't know what Git is, Git is basically a version control system, right? And yeah, just make sure you know Git. Um, I'll link a video in the description because I don't I'm not gonna go over it. But if you guys mimic what I'm doing with the Git commands and such, you'll be okay. But I'll link a video in the description that will explain what um, Git is and how to actually use it and how to install it. It's a really good video. I do recommend you watching it, and especially if and plus to be honest with you, if you're programming and you're not using Git, um, yeah, you might want to get on that right now. So yeah. Also, make sure you have a GitHub account because we're going to need to store our code remotely on the repository. Okay, so assuming you have all of that, have all the prerequisites, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new repository, and I'm going to just name this Cloud Hosted Bot. Okay, and I'm just going to click, I'm going to make it private, and I'm going to click on Create Repository. I'm going to copy this link over here. And I'm going to clone it to my desktop. So if you have Git already, then you don't have to worry about this. You can, If you know how to Git clone, then you should be fine. But if you're brand new, you don't know what Git is. Again, I'm assuming you've watched the video, right? Assuming, because the video does explain what you need to do in order to have Git set up, because it does show you where to install Git, how to install Git, etc. So please watch the video. So you're gonna, we're going to clone our repository. This is going to make an empty folder, right? And we're going to paste that link, okay, and we're going to press enter. So it's going to clone this repository to our local desktop, okay, and it says you appear to have cloned an empty repository. Great. So now we're going to navigate into that, into that empty repository. It's basically a folder, and we're going to see that it's empty, okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this, this directory in my text editor because this is where we're going to store all of our code. Okay, just think of it like a normal folder. Now, I'm going to just simply copy and paste this code. Because again, this is not really a how to make a Discord bot tutorial. This is a how to set up your bot or how to host your bot on the cloud. But you guys should know how to do this. If you don't know how to make a bot, I will link a video that I that I uh, made a, like some time ago that will explain how to actually get your bot set up. Okay, only, it should only take you about like five minutes. But this is assuming that you know how to make a bot, right? This is basically our bot right now. It doesn't really do anything. I'm going to make it do something real quick. I'm going to say claim on message. And we'll just say if message.author.bot return else or if message.content.to lowercase equals 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 hello. We'll say message.channel.send. Hey. And this will be a simple test. Okay, so once we have our bot set up, okay, here's what we're going to need to do. We're going to need to go over to Heroku and we're going to need to make a new application. So I'm going to do that. So we're going to say cloud hosted bot. Hopefully this name is not, it's available, perfect. So we're going to create it. Great. You're going to be brought to this screen. Okay. And now here's the thing. You don't need GitHub for this. You can actually use the Heroku uh, command line interface, but... I don't, have, I don't think I have it set up right now on this computer, so I'm just going to use GitHub, which is actually fairly easy. So if you don't have, if you have not connected GitHub to your Heroku account, you're going to want to make sure you have it connected. So we're going to have to type in our repository name. My repository name is cloud-hosted-bot, and it's going to appear right over here. We're going to click on connect. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on Enable Automatic Deploys. So what's going to happen is every single time your code is updated and it's pushed to the remote repository, which is over here, Heroku will basically take that live updated code and it will actually rebuild everything and then your 
your bot's going to be refreshed, basically. Okay, it's going to deploy. It's going to basically build the latest, uh, the latest branch, or the most updated branch, I should say. Okay, and the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go to settings. We're going to click add a build pack. And since our environment, we're using Node.js, we're going to click on Node.js. If you were writing a bot, let's say if you were hosting a bot um, using the JDA, which is the Java Discord API, you would click Java, right? And this will allow you to host your jar files or whatever, or whatever Java code you want. I actually, I should have not said jar files. I should have said, if you, let's say if you were making a servlet, an HTTP servlet in Java, you could, you would click on this. And you could, ho and you could actually host web apps with Heroku too, just, just letting you guys know. So, save changes. And you can also configure your environmental variables over here, which I'm not going to do that in this video. I'll save it for another video. But yeah, we should be good to go with with this part. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over to here. So this is our current. Let me actually close this since I don't need this now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to type npm init dash y. This is going to initialize our repository, our folder, with a package.json file, right? Because what we need to do is we need to actually make sure we have our package.json. It's important because what's going to happen is the Heroku, right, what's, what it's going to do, it's going to look at the package.json file, and it's going to install all of the dependencies that are viable, that are compatible with the Heroku system. I think Heroku uses Linux, so if you have um, NPM, if you have, like, uh, modules that are not compatible with Linux and your pro, your bot is not going to work, your application is not going to work. Okay, so since the only dependency we're using right now is discord.js, I'm going to do npm uh, install discord.js dash dash save. And what that will do is that will save it as a dependency in our package.json file. Okay, um, so yeah, if I was using, let's say if I was using Express or like some other um, dependency, we would want to make sure we installed it using the dash dash save flag so it will be added to our package.json file but definitely do check if they're compatible with Linux because that's important okay so we're also going to need a proc file so the thing with Heroku is um, Heroku the applications that are hosted on Heroku will actually fall asleep so it will basically uh, turn off um, after like I think two hours or whatever so if you actually uh, if nothing, if your if your program is not doing anything, it'll like Heroku will turn off the application automatically. So to prevent that, what we need to do is we need a proc file. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna say worker node, and then whatever you named your bot file. So my name is bot.js, the script file. I'm gonna type bot.js. Okay. Save it, and we should be good to go. And one last thing is we're gonna create a git ignore file because I don't want to actually commit, I don't want to have all of these folders on my GitHub repository, okay? So watch what I'm gonna do with my command line now. I'm gonna say git add dat dot, right? I'm gonna add all of these files and I'm gonna commit it. We're just gonna say test commit. Okay, so all of these files will now be pushed to the remote repository. And if I refresh over here, you're going to see we have our git ignore file, which ignored the node underscore modules folder, which is not what we want on this on here. It doesn't matter if that node modules folder is not on here because it's actually going to be internally inside this inside the cloud. Okay, you can see the other files. So let's actually go over to activity. We're going to see a build is in progress. Okay, and we can actually go over to logs to actually view what's going on. Right, we're gonna see that the build succeeded, and we're actually going to run into an error. It says starting process with command npm start, but it says missing script start. So we actually need to fix that. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna to go to our package.json file. We're going to remove over here where you see the scripts key over here. You're gonna remove this. You're gonna type in start colon, and then quotes. We'll quote start colon, and then quotes node bot.js I think I think it should be node bot.js I think yeah yeah that should be fine okay so we're gonna save that and the same thing I'm gonna do get add every time you make a change to your bot right or anytime you make anytime you make a change to any file and if you want to commit it you're gonna do get add the name of the file but I, I should have done get add bot.js because I've only changed that file but I did dot which is fine commit gem test 
And of course, obviously, this is my commit message, but you don't want to just write test. You want to write something that will actually help you um, remember what the whole point of that snapshot or that commit was. So we're going to push it again. So notice how uh, right over here, you're going to see some other lines pop up real quick because we have automatic deploys on. It's going to automatically look at our every single time a, a new uh, push has happened. It's going to look at that and it's going to do a new build over and over again, which is great. But you could turn it off though if that's not what you want. So notice how it says starting process with command npm start. Now it works. Okay, so node bot.js, the bot is logged in. And if we look over here, the cloud bot is logged in. So let's just say hello. It says, hey, so great. That means our bot is working. Perfect. So now you can go ahead and write all of your code, whatever you want your bot to do. You can just write it over here. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really easy. It, it is a lot of work, but trust me, it doesn't take too long. So hopefully this video helped. And if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to just contact me on Discord. Um, please, if you do add me on Discord, I'm expecting you guys to actually ask for help because I don't really like it when people don't ask for help. I mean, I, I know it kind of sounds weird, but it's like the whole point I put it, I put my Discord all out there is for people to actually reach out. If and I want to be, I want to be able to help people with their problems. So yeah, um, hopefully this helped. If this tutorial did help, and if you have any problems, just you know, again, contact me on Discord or post a comment, and I'll try my best to get back to you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.